think when people watch Megan Santa Cruz play, the first thing they're taken aback by is her technical ability, the ability to drive at speed. We had other parents coming up to us telling us that we taught Megan how to bulldoze other little girls. When Megan just wants to go to the ball, kick the ball in the goal, it was just her mindset from a young age. Hi, I'm Megan Santa Cruz and I'm a center mid for LA Surf. I looked up to him a lot just because he's my older brother, so he did a lot of sports and then I would always kind of just like, oh, I want to play too. So I did soccer. It was kind of just like a family thing. So I just started when I was like four. I believe I was seven and I got scouted from like AYSO. A coach came out and then he told me like, oh, you should come try club. And I really, at first I didn't want to, like he would try and I was like, no, I don't want to play club. But then um, I went out and I really liked it. So then I kept playing club and that's where I started from. There were uh, club coaches that continued to come to us and ask her if she would play for them. And, and so at that point we knew, but she didn't want to do it until the first training at a club team. And then she realized, oh wow, everybody's here serious about it. Uh, my name is Chris Santa Cruz. I'm the father of Megan Santa Cruz. I'm Barry Ritz and I'm the CEO of LA Surf Soccer Club. Our role as coaches is to work in tandem with parents to understand what their goals are and how they align with the player goals to make sure that we're on the same page. But with specifically Megan's parents, I think that's one of the, the strongest pieces of their um, opportunity is that they do have a common understanding of what's what's next for Megan. Yeah, my parents have always like been supportive of like anything I do and especially with soccer, like like whenever I needed it, they would drive me there or like they would help me. They pay f they pay for my everything on my training. You know, they're both always at my games, always coming on my trips, just both of them just really help all the time. Uh, not pressure, but I've always put a lot of the decision making on Megan's shoulders. So I never told her where she was gonna play. I never told her who she had to play with. I gave her options and then she made the decisions herself. I think one of the, the biggest things that separates Megan from a lot of other players in her age group is her desire to get better. She does spend a lot of, a lot of time outside of the team environment, working on her technique, striking the ball. With Alley Surf, it's been phenomenal. For as parents, the coaches are a big part of helping the girls make mature decisions. They ask the girls what their intention is and if their intention is to play soccer at the next level, that is their focus. They always have your back and you know that they're gonna help you get to what you want and they're always there to help. And I think just like the, the my team, I love my team and I love my teammates. Um, and it's just really good, like I get better, I'm having fun and the coaches are there, they help me with like the college and it, I think it's just a good environment. We've been blessed throughout the years to have quite a few kids that have been here, trained here, been coached here, that have went on to play in MLS, play professional and even represent the countries. I think I've always like wanted to play college soccer just because I've always, like, I've always wanted to go to college and you know, soccer just comes with that. And I think like I've always wanted to since I was young, just knowing that like, oh, I'm going to go to college and I'm going to play in college. Definitely something that's really stressful and it can be kind of like confusing just because it's like so many schools and it's like so many different ways. Um, and I think once you figure out like where you want to be, what kind of school, what kind of team, what kind of level, it kind of helps it narrow it down. She wants to play a, a Pac-12 level. She wants to play D1 college. As parents, we want her to go through and get the education. You know, we've very much talked to her about like, this is an opportunity to get a, a great education. So I decided that I'm going to play college soccer at Washington State University. The coaching staff really has a lot of confidence and belief in my abilities and what I can do. And I think that that really like makes a difference and gives me a lot of confidence. I want to, you know, bring something to Washington State that like, you know, nobody else does and 
bring like that leadership. Um, my advice would be that, you know, the college process is something that takes a lot of time and it takes definitely like a lot of effort and you have to really make sure you're working hard still. And even if you are getting those offers and you do commit or whatever the situation is, like just make sure you keep working hard and keep getting better.